hi guys and welcome back to fit with tea i hope you guys are good so here's five reasons why hanging around is actually good for you so the first reason is it actually helps improve your grip strength if you're new to the gym then you would have realized that oh my gosh there's so many exercises where you need to have good wrist strength good hand strength in order to actually do the exercise in order to get the benefit out of them you realize that you actually need some kind of grip strength and so hanging from a bar literally just hanging and any exercise where you actually have to hang from a bar is a really good way to increase your grip strength second of all hanging from a bar actually helps you to decompress your spine so your spine can get all locked up it helps to elongate your spine and helps to stretch out your back which again helps to improve your posture and helps with relaxation as well so if you haven't been hanging around guys it's about time you get onto that because like i said that is only the second benefit that comes with hanging from a bar. Another reason why you really wanna incorporate hanging exercises into your training program is because it also helps to open up your shoulders, to stretch out your shoulders, to increase the range of motion in your shoulders. You know, as a sprinter, you need your, you need your shoulders to really whip that your arm back you need your shoulders and a lot of exercises in the gym and haven't actually hurt my shoulder before so last year i hurt my shoulder quite badly and hanging from a bar is one of the ways that i've been able to increase the range of motion in my shoulder open up my shoulders slowly but surely because i literally had no range after really hurting it and so if you've got a really stiff shoulder then you need a way to help you to stretch out the shoulders to increase your range of motion you want to incorporate hanging which has benefits for a lot of exercises that you need for your daily movement as well and again just with that general relaxation of your body and your general posture so the fourth reason that i want to give in this video as to why you want to make sure you start hanging around is for general upper body strength hanging from a bar being able to hang from a bar does require you to have some kind of upper body strength and so just starting with a dead hang is a great way to begin to build that upper body strength if you do want to eventually be able to do pull-ups for example then just hanging from a bar to start with is a great place to begin you start there before you want to start moving to any of the other exercises that i'm going to speak about in this video then you want to start by just hanging if you need a box underneath you to get up there first of all because you're not able to jump from the floor then get a box get a bench or something like that to step up and then hang from a bar and you want to try to make sure that you keep your body still because this is going to have other benefits such as helping you to stabilize your core which is actually my final point to the fifth reason why hanging is so great is because of the core stability element so if you are starting with just hanging and a dead hang then you want to try to stop yourself from swinging because that's going to be the natural thing that you want to do and obviously if you haven't got good grip shape you're going to find yourself slipping <laughs> yeah, i say slipping because really it's the fact that you don't have great grip shape and so starting with a dead hang and just for a set time that you can if you're that much of a beginner where you can only start with five seconds ten seconds start with that if you can do more that's obviously great and once you'll be able to manage that then increase the time length that you're able to just hang from a bar but like i said my fifth and final reason why you should really incorporate hanging exercises into your routine and the benefits of that is it also has a core stability element to it and i love this element and so i want to end this video by giving you guys four of my favorite hanging core exercises that you can add to your routine that will have all these benefits that i've spoken about already in this video and actually my sixth point which is a bonus point is just that it's fun i think hanging from a bar is fun as kids we all knew that climbing from a monkey bars was fun well most of us thought it was fun anyway and as a kid you didn't think about the fact that it had all of these benefits you didn't think about the fact that it was actually exercise you just enjoyed hanging from a bar and you used to laugh at the fact that your parents couldn't do it for some reason because they didn't have the core strength grip strength shoulder mobility on all these things that we've spoken about so far so if you haven't been hanging around if you haven't been hanging from a bar for a really long time i just want to encourage you to get back into it and so many parks nowadays have bars that you can just practice that from but if you are in a gym most gyms do have the crossfit section or the pull-up bar that you can actually use to start hanging but anyway like i said my favorite four exercises that you can do to hang from a bar so the first one is just lifting up both knees together so bringing up your knees both knees together at the same time crunching them up into that 90 degree angle with your knees and back down again so like i said already you want to make sure that you control your body you don't want to be swinging in order to get your knees up but you just want to control that movement try to keep yourself still as you do it and this is a really great core exercise the second one is similar but it's single leg high knee so one knee at a time i actually personally find this one a little bit easier than a two knees at the same time because one leg at a time is actually lighter weight than two legs at a time so extending the vertical leg so that it's straight going through the full range of motion bringing the knee up and then switching over nice and controlled movement again try not to swing keeping yourself still i think trying to keep yourself still is actually the main element for these exercises for me that's the part that's actually the hardest more so than necessarily lifting up your legs so the third one is lifting up your legs straight straight leg lift now at a 90 degree angle you can go all the way up to the bar if you want to but i find that bringing it up to 90 degrees is usually sufficient so it's up to you how you want to do this but this is the 
third one that I want to show you guys and last but not least I want to show you a crunch charts but when I do it at an angle so it's more like an oblique exercise now twisting up at the sides bringing the knees up at up to either side of your body which i think incorporates more of your obliques for you so guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below are you gonna start hanging around are you gonna start incorporating hangs into your training into your workout routine let me know in the comment section below and also let me know which is your favorite exercise and if you like the video guys please give it a big thumbs up to help me accelerate my channel so that more people can see this video and if you haven't yet tried the barbell rollout and you're looking for another fun core exercise then make sure to check out this video and I'll see you guys next Friday.